So you've got the desk set up sorted, that's great. But what about the rest of the room? If you spend a lot of time creating in one space, like I do for video and photography work, there's loads you can do to make your home office or just your working space in general, more productive and suited to your use. And for me, nothing has changed my setup more than the IKEA charging pegboard system. So let me show you how I got it all set up. I've got two of these pegboards placed next to each other in the office but let's talk about the most interesting of the two first, which has my charging setup on it. Mainly this is used for recharging my camera gear, so that's Sony MPF batteries for monitors and lights, Fuji XE3 batteries for my little Fuji camera, A7 III batteries for my go-to workhorse, the Sony A7 III, and I've also got my Switch light charging here too. All of the power is coming from this Anker multi-port USB charger, which just outputs loads of USB power slots. Above those, I've got some Byte Review business cards, an art book by Instant Onion, an older iPhone SE, and my SanDisk portable SSD. The real aim of this system is so after any shoot, I can empty my batteries onto this pegboard and allow them all to charge up at the same time. Then when the next day rolls around, I can just grab them again and know they're good to go. It's a pretty simple setup, but it means I can glance over from my desk too and see what's still charging and what's charged up, and swap things around if I need to. The other board on the right hand side is more miscellaneous and it's up there more than anything for decoration. There's more artwork, a pen holder, a Ricoh point and shoot film camera, my media badge from when I went to the OnePlus 7T launch event which was great. I've got the Steel Like an Artist series of books up here too by Austin Cleon. I actually really love these little books. If you do anything creative or if you make things for a living, they're great little morale boosts and remind you of why you got into whatever you're into in the first place. He speaks from a writer's perspective, but I find there's loads of amazing advice in there for staying creative in general. Lastly, I've got a real ivy hanging off the side. If you can, getting a real plant in your office space will make everything feel a lot more natural and it adds a nice hit of colour. You can always buy little fake ones too if you don't have much natural light. I've got both, this ivy is cool because it dangles over, but it does die a lot, I think this must be my third or fourth one, so I like to back it up with a fake succulent too. To get these pegboards set up and running, it's actually a lot easier than it might seem. If you've put up a picture in your time, then you shouldn't struggle putting these on the wall. They're super simple to mount and IKEA throws in everything that you need to get started. In terms of the items on the board, most are held up with IKEA's provided accessories. You can get little hooks, shelves, pegs, pots and bungee cords, and they all have small hooks on the back which allow you to place them onto the board where you see fit. And 9 times out of 10, it will hold everything you need it to. To mount things that don't fit though, so the chargers and the business cards, the best tool I've found is sticky velcro. You can get this at pretty much any hardware store or of course Amazon. Sticky Velcro is a really great way to go for mounting as well. It means nothing is permanent and you can move things around if you need to. If you are planning on having a form of charging station like this one, you'll need some USB wires to connect everything up too. If you're lucky enough, your wires will fit through the little holes in the pegboard and that's the nicest way of having it set up. If not though, you'll need to hide them as best as you can like I had to. I find looping around the back of the board can be good or using white cables to match the board or using a bungee to hold them in place or just using the shortest cables you can find like this tiny USB-C one I have for the Nintendo Switch. Finally, you'll want to be close to a power outlet too so you can attach the charger to the mains. If you're not too close to one, getting a cable tidy box like this can help disguise the wiring as best as possible. Honestly, that's all there is to it. It's a really simple setup to get up and running. One of the best things about having these pegboards is everything's fluid. So at one time I was trying uh, wireless chargers to stick them on there and then just so I can just throw things like AirPods on here and they'll charge up rather than having to plug things in all the time. But it didn't work out so well. But it's nice that I can try that and just push things back to how they were. Another thing that's worth keeping in mind as well is how you design these things. So if you just throw stuff on there willy-nilly, it's going to look all sorts of messy. So there's a few things that I like to keep in mind is, is try and keep straight lines in mind. So if you're putting stuff on the board, make sure it all lines up. And it's also worth going in terms of size as well. So if you've got these chargers, for instance, I try and have them going down or up in size or something like that. It just makes it feel nice. Also, these little bungee cords can be good dividers. And obviously having artwork as well is really good for just plugging those gaps where you don't have much else. And it's really nice to look at as well. It's cool to have on there. 
I will link those artists in the description below because a lot of people have been asking about that. And also people have been asking about this wire I got for the Nintendo Switch, which is a really short USB-C one. I actually got that in a pair of OnePlus wireless bullets. Um, it came with those headphones, so I just used it in the end, but you can find those on Amazon, I'm sure. One of the great things as well is these pegboards come in a variety of sizes and stuff as well, so you don't need to get the ones that I've got. Uh, Ikea have got absolutely loads of different styles and sizes. They've got really slim ones, really long ones, so you can use those too, which is great. So it'll pretty much fit any room, so don't feel you have to be stuck to what I've got here. So that pretty much rounds up this video. If you're interested in any of the things I've mentioned, then I'll have a link for everything in the description below. If you're going to make your own setup of this, I would love to see it. So do pop me a follow on Twitter at ByteReview and at me and show me a picture of what you've done. And if you've got any other questions, then just ask in the comments below and I will see you all in the next one.